Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a box card. It's a card folded out of an 8.5 by 11 piece of pattern paper or thin cardstock that folds down like this and then when you open it up it looks like a box. The pattern paper I'm using is from October Afternoon Fly a Kite and the images are from Whiff of Joy. So to start out with you need a piece of 8.5 by 11 card uh, pattern paper and you score it at two and one eighth and th six and three eighths. Then you turn it to the eleven inch side, and you score it at one and a quarter and three and three eighths. Now the score pile doesn't have a three and three eighths, so I move it over to the one eighth of an inch score groove and score it at three and a half. Then turn that paper and do the same on the other side. Square it at one and a quarter and to move the paper over and score at three and a half. Now we're done with scoring and we're doing all the folding now. To start out with, you fold your long score lines up and then back down. Just pre-fold those. Now have the paper that you want on the outside facing towards you and fold the one and a quarter inch score lines up. Then flip your paper and fold the next score line down. Next you fold the score the sides in so you'll have a square. Now you take one of the corners and carefully fold it down without try not to break the paper on top and on the bottom. Rather have it a little bit crooked than have it ripped. And you do that on all four sides. I remember seeing this project a long time ago before when I first started stamping and then I couldn't find it anymore and then back in February we had it as a technique challenge and I was so excited to see it again. Okay, so now when you have all your four square corners folded you take all the folds back out. Now it looks like this. Now before you fold it together I like to just trim my edges just a little bit so when I fold it together they don't peek out. So just, you don't, you know, maybe half or one third in. Cut those corners just a little bit. And then if you want to, you can add a little trim edge to the side. This is white cardstock cut with the, the faux crochet border die from the my favorite things, dynamic style. Just add a little adhesive. I'm using score tape. And then take it off and line it up with my long side, which will be the side that is showing. Stick that, stick that on. And turn over and do the same on the other, and then we'll fold it together. Now that you have it like this, put your cardstock so your long edges are, your decorated edges are in front of you. And then take these corners that you have folded and just fold them over like this. And then you fold your trim edge over and your first box side is done. Do the same on the other side. Take, have your trim up and fold one edge over and then the next and then fold your trim side down. Now you have your box and then the first time to fold this down you have to be a little bit careful so you don't rip your paper. 
Um, some paper works better than others. As I have noticed that the October afternoon paper is just a little bit on the stiff side. So now your box is done. What's optional but what looks really pretty is if you add a, uh, a belly band. Mine is two and a quarter inch wide and I was too lazy so I just left it 12 inches. And just add a little adhesive to the ends. When I know it's too long I put adhesive on one side and then on the other. Take the adhesive backing off. Place it on your card and then just wrap it around. Keep it loose so it will be easy to slide your card in and out of there. There. And then you just have to decorate it. Add a little uh, image on top and you are done. I hope you try it out. It's a very fun project. See you next time.